Hi everybody. I hope you've had a chance to be outside today on this beautiful sunshine. And I hope you're tuned in and watching us and that we're not wearing you out. I've got a pen in my hand because I have to tell you, viewers are telling me that I reach up and touch my face and I don't want to do that. So hopefully this pen will remind me not to do that. Takes simple tricks sometimes, doesn't it? As you know, the city of Fort Worth, Tarrant County, seven other major cities, and six of the major metropolitan counties passed a stay-at-home order. I thought I'd go over just real briefly what that entails. You should have been able to find it on our Facebook and on our website already. But we got to stop the spread of this. And if you're worried about testing, and everybody is, if you're hearing a lot of talk about PPEs, personal protection equipment, Everybody is. The Surgeon General of the U.S. this morning said, we can't worry ourselves, we can't test ourselves, we can't worry about protective gear out of this. We have to turn the spigot off. And the best way to turn the spigot of COVID off is to stop the spread by using good hand washing techniques, good coughing, and limiting where people can go. And that's what our stay at home order is all about. It's going to help us stop this spread. It's a stay home, work safe order. And that includes you're open to travel for essential jobs, for health and safety for yourself, or for medicine for yourself or your relatives. And that means you can get out and get those. Please only one person at a time in the stores, one from a family. Don't take your entire family in unless you have small children who have no one else to care for them. Then we certainly understand. It also closes senior living facilities. And I know many of you have parents and grandparents that you really want to see, and they want to see you, see their children and their grandchildren. It's a hard time. With technology, many of them you can see on FaceTime, or you can do a go-to-meeting in WebEx and actually see them and visit with them. If they're not technical, you can call them on the phone. We do still use phones. And my next door neighbor said he got a letter today from his nephew in Houston, and he was thrilled to get a handwritten letter. So we might go back to that. There are lots of resources available for those seniors. If you've got a senior who's struggling, send them to AARP. Have them call or have them go online. They've got great resources. It's their community connections piece. The Tarrant County group called Over 65 also has great resources. There are good informal groups where people can talk online, talk on the phone, and get a little connection. So it's not a lot different from what we had last year, but it really is. You really need to stay home unless you're exercising or out for essential services. I'm gonna turn it over now to Chief Krause, who's gonna also address the enforcement piece of this. Chief? I appreciate it, Mayor. Um, first thing I want to say is, you know, we live not only in the best country in the world, but we live in the best country this world has ever seen or known. The freedoms we have are, have never been duplicated elsewhere. And so when we talk about restricting some of those freedoms, we take that extremely seriously. A lot of good men and women died to give us this country the way we have it now, and their sacrifices on our minds as we look at how we best deal with this. So first of all, I want to thank the men and women of Fort Worth. Y'all have done an amazing job adhering to these uh, declarations and trusting the guidelines that the city leaders have put up. Uh, we ask you to continue to do so. Uh, when everyone continues to do their part, we're going to get through this thing together. I would like to talk about some misinformation that's out there about what the police are doing. Um, let me just assure you, the police prior to COVID-19 had to have a reason to pull you over on a traffic stop. And that hasn't changed. The police are not pulling people over to see if they are part of an essential business or an essential service or have an essential function. If you get pulled over, it's because you, were, you conducted a traffic violation or there's another offense that the officers are investigating. Along with that, Fort Worth has not set up any checkpoints to see if people are adhering to the declaration. We have not closed the borders of the city or the county, and we want to squash those rumors that are being put out there on social media by people who are 
ignorant about the declarations or just trying to cause fear in our community. Uh, for the businesses, a lot of people are, are curious about what's open and what's not open, and I want to encourage you to check out our webpage at www.fortworthtexas.gov slash COVID-19. We also have a uh, hotline and an email address that you can call into or, or email if you have specific questions and we will respond to those. Uh, if you follow the comment thread on this briefing, uh, that information will be uh, provided there. Let me tell you, our officers are still out there enforcing the law. They're out there making arrests when it's necessary. Um, we don't necessarily anticipate the crime rate going down because of this, although the good men and women of Fort Worth are adhering to the guidelines, the criminals do not, and we don't expect that that's gonna happen. If they don't obey the regular laws, why would they obey this declaration? We'd appreciate that cooperation from them, but we're not so naive as to believe that's what's gonna happen. We have plenty of officers on the street and we have a plan to put more officers on the street if needed. Um, they're doing the best job that they can do. They're doing the, the job that you expect them to do, uh, the job that you're come to, come to expect of them. Our officers have been asked to look at these declarations, become very familiar with the, the types of businesses that are no longer open so they can do extra patrols and protect those properties as best they can while the business owners and customers are not there. And um, we ask for adherence. Uh, we appreciate everything you've done. I can't tell you uh, enough about the great job the city leaders are doing uh, in addressing all these different issues coming at them related to COVID-19. Uh, but I've never been more proud to be part of a team than I am of this team. So thank you very much. Uh, the uh, hotline phone number is 817-392-8478. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Our officers and our firefighters and code compliance really are doing the best job. And everybody that's here working for the EOC is here working for you. I'm in incredibly impressed with what they're doing. The rumors abound, like Chief mentioned. So don't believe everything you read on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Verify it before you start passing it on and be sure it's right. I know people mean well, but they don't always get it straight. So I wanted you to know a little bit about what we're doing too at the city and at your council and mayor's office. We've stood up advisory committees that will be headed by two council people on each one, and healthcare experts, economic and business advisory committees that'll deal with small businesses and all kinds of things impacting the economic situation, education and childcare and other community services. And they are hard at work helping us get information out, addressing what need, might need to be done while you're all at home, and you are staying home, right? And remember, education right now, it hasn't stopped for your children and it hasn't stopped for you. You can get great services from our library. You can read to your kids, pick up the phone and read to your grandchildren through FaceTime or through the phone. They just love it. Or maybe a neighbor child. It's an important part of education. Lastly, I wanna talk about something that you know is dear to my heart and that's being outside in our outdoor spaces and what can be done. We're getting lots of questions about parks and trails and lakes. Many of our lakes are closed, not because of COVID-19, but rather because of the heavy rains we've had and the safety issues from those. But we know that while you're home, it's a golden opportunity for you to be out exercising. Enjoy being out there with your kids. Keep the social distance there. Stay six feet apart. I was out today running and the trails have lots of people, but everybody pretty much was complying. I was very proud of what was going on there. It's a great time to get out there. One other thing, if you're riding, rollerblading, or running, tell the people you're coming up behind that you're approaching and passing on the left so they don't step over in front of you. It's a difficult time, but stay healthy while you're at home. Enjoy your family. We, I heard the head of NASA, NASA recently quoted from the Apollo 13 tragedy where it blew up on the landing pad. And his first response, he said, was that this would be NASA's worst moment 
they've ever dealt with. His second in command said, no boss, it'll be our finest hour. And I believe that this will be Fort Worth's finest hour, a chance for us to come together, learn a lot, to be safe, and to be even stronger as a community. So don't forget, y'all stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. Thanks.